China and Russia have dispatched intelligence gathering vessels from their navies to chase the USS Carl Vinson nuclear power aircraft carrier, which is heading toward waters near the Korean Peninsula, multiple sources of the Japanese government revealed to the Yomori Shimbun. It appears that both countries aim to probe the movements of the United States, which is showing a stance of not excluding military action against North Korea. The self-defense forces are strengthening warning and surveillance activities in the waters and airspace around the area, according to the sources. The aircraft carrier strike group composed of the Carl Vinson at its core with guided missile destroyers and other vessels is understood to be around the East China Sea and heading north toward waters near the Korean Peninsula. China and Russia, which prioritized stability in the Korean Peninsula, showed concern over the tough U.S. stance with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov saying the issue should be resolved peacefully through political and diplomatic efforts. The dispatch of the intelligence gathering vessels appears to be partly aimed at sending a warning signal to the United States. Following the 105th anniversary of the birth of Kim Il-sung, North Korea's founding father, on April 15th, North Korea will celebrate the 85th anniversary of the founding of its military on April 25th. It maintains the stance that it intends to conduct its first nuclear test since September of last year, which will be its sixth test of launch intercontinental ballistic missiles. By conducting joint exercises with the Maritime Self-Defense Force and through other means, the U.S. aircraft carrier strike group is poised to increase military pressure on North Korea and urge Pyongyang to engage in restraint. Now, this is a fast-changing situation over there with North Korea, with Russia and China sending spy ships to shadow the USS Carl Vincent. We will keep you updated on this situation. Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.